Greetings YouTube. Today we're looking at a Pro Mate dive knife. Um, I picked this up at a yard sale. I think I paid less than ten dollars for this. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, I don't think it was ever used. It came with a dive knife that was still in the package. So this may very well be a tool that was purchased for somebody and then never used. And it ended up at this, eventually they decide, ah, oh, screw it, I'm gonna get rid of it. No one, I don't need this thing around the house. So as you can see right off the back, we have a plastic sheet, um, which has a uh, uh, drain hole on the bottom, which every dive knife needs, because you, when you get out of the water, you need to get, get, get that drained out of there. It's got a lanyard hole here, which you could actually get a piece of paracord through if you wanted to. It's got a butt cap, which actually was not beaten silly. So it also makes me think that it was um, it was not uh, used a great deal. I've often wondered about butt caps that have rounded corners. I always prefer one that had a crisp, fairly crisp corner. Um, or do they get rounded over so fast it doesn't matter? And maybe something with a little texture on it, because this is smooth chrome, I don't know. Um, let's get it out of the pack, out of the sheath. And it is, it is a, you know, you can do it on other either side. Let's get that out of the way, not to mention it's noisy as all heck. Um, so here you go, here is your uh, dive knife. And it's, I mean, I think it's like never used because the, the, the line cutter is in still excellent condition. And those often get really abused quickly. Um, so it says 304 stainless Taiwan. I have no idea what 304 is. I mean, if it said like 440 stainless, I might grasp. But 304 stainless? I have no idea what 304 stainless is. Um, and it has a uh, very aggressive look to it. The uh, scalloped serrated on the back are actually in excellent condition. So again, it was, to my mind, it was probably never used because these things get abused all, all heck when, when they get you know out there in the field. Um, the, the edge is, yeah, it's, it's usable. It's a decent edge. Not shaven sharp, but it's pretty good. We have a, a hollow grind here, but it is kind of thick behind the behind the, uh, the that edge, and that does bother a lot of people. This is not a thin, slicey kind of blade, but dive knives are often tools. And speaking of tools, while this is very attractive, I question its utility as a tool. I mean, the back of this is sharpened as well, not as much as the front, but it still has a. a, a to my mind, that is not an ideal design for a dive knife. To me, a dive knife, an ideal design is a squared or angled tip so you can get in there and pry things and move them around. I don't know how often you're gonna to have to stab something underwater. Yes, I know that there is the possibility that you may find yourself having to fend off an animal of some variety, but how often does that actually happen? If you look at the number of times you're gonna use a dive knife as a weapon as opposed to a dive knife as a tool. I think if you were to use this on a daily basis or a regular basis rather as a tool, it's gonna end up square tipped really soon. <laughs> Cause I think that this tip right here, which is quite nice, um, is not gonna last long out there in the field. I mean, it looks really good now. It would, really, it would look really good like uh, in a movie or something, you know what I mean? And I guess if you want to do the whole, you know, stabbing the, you know, stabbing the the bad guy with, you know, jumping out of a tree or something like that, you can go do that. The um, the uh, was it Brock Samson from Venture Brothers? Yeah, he he would love this kind of knife. Um, but I happen to be having a deep and abiding fascination for dive knives. I've never been diving and never going to be diving. I have a huge fear of water I can't see through. So maybe I might go scorp uh, uh, snorkeling like in crystal clear water so I can see the, the, the bottom through. That might work for me. But even then, there are things in that water that can hurt you, both because they are going to bite you or because they are venomous to some degree if you step on them or get too close to them. So, yeah, I don't go in the ocean very often, um, and that's okay. I don't think the ocean misses me. Um, you can actually get your finger up here in case you want to do this. It's, it's quite comfortable. This is not dangerous at all, so you could do it on either really direction if you felt, like, felt the need. I'm not really sure how often that's going to be required, but I guess potentially if you wanted to do something that required some control, that might be, you know, something you'd want to do. And it's, again, perfectly safe. Your, your finger's not near, near anything dangerous on that one. It's got a very positive grip. I'll give you that. Um, this is nicely scalped here. This this is let out so it doesn't it doesn't overly fill your the you know the meat of your your palm right here. Fits right in there. So it's 
it's quite comfortable in that regard. So you're not fighting the handle, or the handle's not fighting you, I should say, because sometimes handles are too big. So when you go to grab them, it just feels, it feels like you're trying to grab like a kielbasa. This is, this is a lot more comfortable and you feel a very positive grip on this. Um, I, I was, I, that's one of the things that attracted me to it. I'm like, hey, you know, I'll give them, I may think that this is kind of silly, but that's a very positive, comfortable grip to use. Um, you know, and I, you're not gonna lose that, particularly if you have a lanyard, so you can put, the, put your hand through there before you take it out of, the, out of the sheath, which is a solid policy, because if you drop a knife in the ocean, you're not getting that back. Um, so yeah, so this has been the ProMate dive knife. Um, if anybody out there has ever used a ProMate dive knife actually while diving, I would love to know. I'd like to know what your experience has been. Has that tip survived more than like two dives? That'd be intriguing, you know. <laughs> so thanks for coming here, folks. I hope you'll come back for the next one.